my 2017 SR5 Toyota Hilux. Um, she's behind me. I'll give a quick um, rundown, a little bit of B-roll of you know what the car is, and then we'll go and I'll ask some of the frequent questions you get to ask when you've got a Hilux. You know, what's gone wrong? Have you had to replace anything? And probably what's my favourite mod? So yeah, I'll get into it. Then I'll probably show a little bit of the exploring we done earlier today with Daniel. He's had to go home. Uh, do a bit of servicing on his car. So yeah, let's get into it. You can see on the front, we got twin uh, seven inch Terra Loom spotlights. Absolutely awesome. I got the GME 370 uh, UHF pole, ARB Summit bull bar. Coming around, I got the um, recovery points underneath. I don't know if you can see them. Got fat bars, stainless steel powder coated black long entry snorkel. So we've got the Maxxis 26570 R17 uh, all terrain tyres wrapped with the KMC Mesa two tone. Um, rims straight from the states, they look absolute killer. We've got the off road armor um, side steps, pick them up off Facebook, probably break them, chuck some rock sliders on. Come around the back, we've got the custom Torno, um, Torno tent rack type thing, which is made from a guy in um, Ipswich. So, uses the factory stainless steel sports bar, welds the tub rack on the back, stick it out on top, which is mint. Um, got a little recovery point just there. It's more or less it for the back. Come around, we've got a few stickers. Credit to rear 2021 tail lights because they look way better than the factory ones, I feel. So the tent we've got on top is a it's from Drifter. It's the Drifter Stockton 1.4 soft shell. It's actually by Wildlands. So that oh, look it's absolutely mint. I love it to bits. Come around, we've got the Dashi Eclipse um, 2.0 Eclipse 2 meter by 2.5 awning. Thing has been unreal, never, never really let me down. Out in Kenilworth a few weeks ago, and it was absolutely flooding, and that thing stood the test of time. So, super stoked for that. Um, Fox 2.0, 2 inch in the front, 3 inch in the back from Fat Bars. So that's a bit of an overview of all the mods we've got on the Hilux. Um, now we're just gonna go somewhere a little bit, a little bit in the shade. Uh, the car's an absolute mess because of all the driving and stuff we've been doing today, but that's been really good. I'm gonna get in the shade, set up the camera on the bipod, and I'll ask a few questions. I'll answer a few questions, and you know, I just let you know how my experience has been. So today officially marks the first year of owning this. This is my Hilux. Um, I bought it January 15th, 2021, and it was the biggest decision, or one of the biggest decisions of my life. And obviously I'm 19 years old, and it's a, it's a big thing, so it was very daunting. But in one year, it's been absolutely awesome. I've loved every minute of it, and I've never wished I didn't, I didn't sell, I didn't buy it. So, I guess some of the... Like some of the questions that normally people ask is obviously the, this model, this engine is known for DPF related issues. Uh, yes, I have had my DPF uh, refurbished. It wasn't, Toyota were absolutely awesome with it. They didn't put up a single fight, but you know, that was one thing that did go. And unfortunately the aircon, uh, the aircon blower motor went as well. That's probably around May. But Toyota replaced that under warranty as well. So overall, it's been pretty good. Uh, if you were to ask me kind of what my favorite mod is, it's not the lift, it's not the stainless snorkel. I'm gonna have to say it's the wheels. I wait, I probably spent weeks on weeks on weeks just trying to find wheels that I liked. And once I saw these, I just had to get them. And I contacted the boys at EC Off-Road, uh, Mark, and we picked them up. Uh, it took them a few months to get in, and I am 
to unstrap. I think they look so good. They make the car, you know. I'm just, I'm so glad I didn't just buy simple steelies because they look so good. So that's probably my favorite mod, most practical mod. It's gotta be the big girl on top. Now uh, Drifter, it's really good quality stuff. The only thing I had to do was add a topper, um, but the tent is super comfy, super easy to set up, vents so well. Like, yeah, I, I'm just so happy. Uh, I think the only few mods I've got left is I'm gonna have some struts for the tailgate, and I've gotta add somewhere for my fridge to go, because in the back, I'll show you later. I've got a hardcore battery box in here, wired up. Just need somewhere for my fridge to go. So, yeah. No, I'm, I'm absolutely stoked. One year with this car, it's been awesome. So, you know, here's to another year. This is going to be a lot more um, getting out, going camping, just enjoying it, enjoying what I spent all my money on. Because there's a lot. There's a lot. A lot of big decisions that went into this. Obviously, this is completely different to anything I've ever filmed before. You know, I'm trying something different, something I'm hopefully going to enjoy a lot more to create, something that, you know, I find a lot more satisfaction in. So, yeah, no, I'm really excited for all that's to come, show off some of the camping trips that me and the boys do, um, some of the four drive tracks, just general adventuring. So, no, it's going to be awesome. I'm, su I'm super, super, super stoked for everything to come this year. It's going to be absolutely off its head. So yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you that battery box. As you can see right there, that's the hardcore heavy duty battery box. Um, that's got the 100 amp lithium battery in the back, which is just charged off a low voltage disconnect from my starter battery, which I wired myself. Uh, we, I've only really used it once when we went to, me and Daniel went to Kenilworth the other night, the other week. Uh, you'll see a bit of Daniel in some future future clips in this video. But it ran my fridge for about four days without a single issue in the world. So it's absolutely strapped with it. It's a serious good bit of kit. Um, yeah, no issues with that at all. This is chill ass. Yeah. Like for not even knowing it existed. Yeah. And you know, water's not great, but it is what it is. And as long as you wear your nice fucking hiking shoes, you know, you got Converse on you, yeah, fucking munted yeah, munted toe and flippers, you're away. place was an absolute treat. Water was so clean, so flowing. Definitely gonna have to come back here with some floaties or something. It's awesome. Nice, I've done all that with the mic off. Uh, Daniel's taking us on a bit of a drive up a massive mountain range. It's really nice, really pretty, um, but I saw the car twice and now we're just on a deep descent so uh, I'll try and put in a few clips but no it's really nice it's been a really good day uh, yeah let's get into it <laughs> 